Lou Dobbs tonight. Jenna McGee is the president of the National Council of La Raza. She attacked me last week for, in her words, handing hate a microphone and for driving the debate on illegal immigration in such a way that demonizes the Hispanic community. We it's have a, a website that documents right. not just these individuals, right. but others who are tied to hate groups or vigilante what did groups. President Bush and call we've them? seen what them on the air relentlessly you have uh, never representing uh, a point of view on immigration. It's like having David Duke on a panel to talk about affirmative action. You're it's way unaccepted. Over your, it's way unacceptable. Over your and we don't want to tolerate that anymore. We're taking our case to the next network heads and we're asking them to hold uh, oh. the networks accountable we want to hold you want me you know, fired don't no you? no I want to hold you accountable for how you well. use your microphone every night ladies and gentlemen please welcome NCLR president and CEO Janet Morgia <laughs> thank you thank you everybody thank you thank you Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Good evening, yes. Thank you and good evening. Uh, Lou Dobbs sends his regrets. He's taking a look at our website so that next time he can get it right. So. Welcome to the 2008 NCLR Capital Awards. Before we continue, we'd like to acknowledge and thank the United States Army Military District of Washington for their continued assistance and participation in this event. And let's give another round of applause to the Joint Armed Services Color Guard and our vocalist, Staff Sergeant Juan Rodriguez. Wasn't he wonderful? Thank you. I'm pleased to see so many old friends and new friends joining us tonight. This event, the Capitol Awards, is very close to my heart because with these awards, we honor the brave work that is done on a daily basis and so often overlooked by some extremely hardworking folks right here in Washington. This is a very special year for NCLR as we celebrate our 40th year as the largest Latino civil rights and advocacy organization in the country. 40 years of opening the door to the American dream. And just yesterday, I know many of you joined us as we officially dedicated our new building three blocks from the White House to Raul Isaguiri and the plaza in front of the building to our NCLR affiliates. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> this building will now be our landmark for our community and establishes NCLR as a true American institution. For four decades, the NCLR has worked to improve opportunities for Hispanic Americans in the United States. And as our tree of ideas and successes grows taller and stronger, our roots go, grow deeper and deeper, embracing the very foundations that helped us to establish this wonderful organization. We so believe in the principles of freedom and liberty and equality. We are here, and I am privileged to continue our work in building a fruitful and brighter future for the Latino community, and in doing so, for all Americans. For those very few of you who don't join us every year, the NCLR Capital Awards is an annual event that recognizes members of Congress from both sides of the aisle who have confronted issues that are important to Hispanic Americans. The NCLR Capital Award is based on three criteria, an elected official's legislative record, their service to their constituency, and for the public service honoree, their support of opportunities that improve the lives of Hispanic families. It's been said, don't be afraid to go out on a limb, that's where the fruit is. And that's exactly how all our honorees have managed to make a difference in the lives of so many by going out on the furthest limb they could find. This year, as we look at the all-important concern of health care in the Latino community in particular, we honor individuals, two individuals, who have been 
taking on the health care issue to benefit children and families across this great country of ours. Representative Lincoln diaz Ballard and Representative Hilda Solis. Let's thank them for their great. And we also honor Univision Communications for its role in the historic and comprehensive civic participation campaign to incorporate Latinos as full participants in the American political process. We'll tell you more about these incredible honorees later in the program. Right now, we want to thank our event co-chairs, City, Fannie Mae, and Frito-Lay PepsiCo, and all of our sponsors for their generous contributions in making this evening possible here at the beautiful National Building Museum. We are going to hear from our sponsors next and we're going to have a chance to hear from them. And then one of the things that we're going to do a little bit off the program here, folks, our members of Congress are still voting. So what we're going to do after you hear from our sponsors is go directly to dinner, and then we'll start our program when the members return. We appreciate your patience and your flexibility as we move forward with this special night. We've got some wonderful packages honoring these incredible honorees. So I hope that you'll st stay well beyond the dinner to enjoy this full evening with us. But for now, let's hear from our incredible sponsors and please enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. Thank you. 